Well, thank you, Andy. Bill has two words for you to ponder today, condemnation and conviction. One pushes a person down and the other lifts up. In today's society, how should a Christian respond? Well, Bill, a powerful message that you bring to update with Bill Harris this week, and we're talking about condemnation and the conversion that we go through when yeah. Jesus offers that. And so um, for any Christians out there or maybe non-Christians that are curious of what the Christianity is all about and what they've heard, um, this is a great message for them to tune into. I certainly hope so because the world tends to shy away and even shun Christianity mm -hmm. altogether because they say we condemn them. And I want to make a distinction between condemning and conviction. Yeah. As a minister of the gospel, I have to preach the truth, and that means I have to preach against sin. And that doesn't set well with some people <laughs> who want their sins. But I don't do it to condemn the world because we must understand this world is already condemned. When you turn on the news and see the terrible things that are happening, yeah. it's because this world is already condemned. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. So we must preach a message of salvation. But in the process, we got to point out those sins. And, and then that condemnation that the world is talking about, it, it's really not condemnation. It's conviction. The condemnation is to push people down. That's sure. not where we are. The conviction is to bring people up yeah. in Christ. So how do we do that when we're living in a society where it seems if you speak even an ounce mm -hmm. of, of conviction, then mm -hmm. you are condemning or, or maybe people just see Christianity as, as a bunch of people that are just trying to condemn them. How do we tote that line without saying, yeah. you know, um, without stepping away from what we know are the truths of Christianity. And, and that, that latter part, I think, is what's happening in some areas. In, in some cases, Christians feel so intimidated yeah. that they, don't, they won't take an offering in church or they won't do this or they won't do that to satisfy the world. But well, let me say this to encourage you. The world doesn't care about what you want to take away and sacrifice so that they'll be attracted because their hearts are not there for that. Mm. It takes conviction. Yeah. And to conviction, to convict them rather, you must tell the truth. So when you ask, what do you do to make sure you're on that line and not going one way or the other? You have to tell the truth in love. Hmm. That's exactly the way you have to do it. You do, it's like you do with your own children, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to tell your children the truth. My, my daughter came downstairs one day, this years ago when she was a teenager, and she had a dress on that was too high. I said, you, you can't wear that <laughs> to the party tonight, you know? And, uh -huh. and I knew I was risking my relationship sure. with my own daughter. But then if I let her go out there and something happens, then I'd be forever uh, regretful yeah. of not having told her the truth. Sure. And so let's dive further into what it means um, when you say that conviction is bringing up, that Jesus, because of what he's done and what God's done, has offered us um, that conversion away from the condemnation. But once that we accept Jesus into our lives, then, yes. then we are free from all of that. That's right. And, and that's, that's where the conversion comes in. Yeah. If, if the conviction, if we preach it in love, tell the truth in love, and it convicts people <clears throat> and they realize, I'm going to admit that I am a sinner, that I need Christ. That's where the conviction comes in. Now the conversion comes in because they're reaching out to Jesus Christ and saying, Lord, please save me from mm -hmm. my, uh, my uh, condemnation and my sin. Save me from myself. And yeah. then they become converted Christians. And when we talk about that the world is already condemned, we're talking about the fact that there is a, th that we are born into a sinful world and that yes. it, we're dead already. And yeah. you talk about the effects of how death separates us on multiple levels, whether it's physical, spiritual, yeah. or emotional, that until we accept Christ, how, are we, uh, how do we understand that we are separated or that we are, are truly dead spiritually? We are, and, and I think many in the world don't realize this because the Bible talks about how that Satan has a blinding effect on mm -hmm. people of the world. So the preaching of the gospel to convict mankind of sin is to take the blinders off so they'll see themselves uh, really needing God and then reach out to embrace his son, Jesus Christ. Mm. And if that doesn't happen, then the consequences, the consequences kick yeah. in. And the world doesn't want to deal with consequences unless there's somebody, a voice of morality that's speaking out about those consequences. Mm. They're wallowing in the consequences, but still denying it. The yeah. Bible says they would deny it, yeah. but you got to convict them with the, with the gospel. The gospel is the tool that yeah. God has given us to use. And so in our last moments here, maybe there's a listener or a viewer watching that wants to know exactly how to go from condemnation 
through conviction and conversion yeah. to a life of, of Christianity. If they can feel that the Lord is tugging and pulling at their heart and saying, you know, you're a sinner, you need to make it right with God, then you accept Jesus Christ by admitting that I am a sinner mm -hmm. and asking him to come into my life and change my life and wash my sins away and now I've got a new life and I'm going to get in a good Bible-believing church so now I can learn how to change my lifestyle to live for him. That's the conversion process. And it goes from condemnation through conversion to conviction, <laughs> through conviction to conversion. <laughs>